Hello, I'm William Gallagher and this is 58 Keys, which as ever, as always, is for writers like you and me who use and who write on Macs and iPhones and iPads. Do subscribe or support my tea habit on 58 Keys on page because there's always so much to drink to, to, to talk about, possibly, especially now. At the start of the year, every December, or in this case, early January, I take some time out to plan my writing for the forthcoming year. And there may not be a more pointless thing I ever do, because, because you can't plan for the year, not in your writing. But uh, what's the opposite? If you, un no, that's uh, unplanned is wrong. If you, if you just don't plan at all, if you don't think about it at all, you get to the end of the year and you have not written anything you wanted to. So for m more years than I can remember, really, I've done this thing of planning and it has worked a lot of the time. It didn't last year. But looking back at the plan I made, last year, I don't think I even really tried. It was a rubbish plan. And consequently, well, it, it wasn't a rubbish year. It was a peculiar year. Lots going on, lots getting done. But at times it did feel out of control. I felt like I was firefighting all the time instead of, you know, progressing. And actually, I quite like firefighting. But still, I didn't complete a novel I was working on. I wrote fewer scripts than I expected. I didn't run online workshops, online courses, uh, other than the ones within the 58 Keys Patreon thing so well yeah i'm fully aware you cannot possibly be interested in the details of my writing plans for 2024 i'm going to plan it out now in front of you and so hope to show you one way of planning out that could work for you and that will of course obviously use macs and iphones and ipads we've got this technology we're going to use it yeah although that said before you and i turn to the mac the iphone or the ipad I have been thinking about it and I've already decided something. For the first time, rather than plan a whole year, I'm only going to plan out the first quarter, Q1 2024. And I'm realise that means I'm pushing things back. I'll have to plan the others later. But I'm honestly, I'm a, I'm a bit shaken, that's the word, by how poor my 2023 plan was and then how little... I f all right, okay, all right, it's just you. You're going to think me an idiot, but just have a look at it. Just, this is the... Yeah, and somehow I didn't stick to that. It's almost hard to believe. Isn't it? I had one thing to do, this OT, that, to be a little fairer to me. That's really all I can find from when I used Apple's Freeform app to do the planning last year. And I know I then went on to other apps. I went further than other apps, but I can't find anything more. And I obviously didn't look for it in the year, but... In case I'm in the middle of convincing you to go anywhere else, look at anybody else's planning system, here's what I did the year before, 2022. That's better, isn't it? And I even actually, maybe as a result, did most of that. And this is what we, you and I are going to do now. I'm going to start with a visual mind map of everything I'm thinking about, everything I'm worried about, worrying about, and then just splurge it out there, see where it goes. Okay, as this goes down, this is what's on my mind. Um, things that I thought I, that would slip if I didn't plan them. And in some cases, maybe I went a bit far because it was just it was all on my mind. That, that right there, for example, I could have just said B book. Sorry, I'm not. I'm saving you some details, but also I can't tell you what that one is. And then uh, the novel, audio work, I could have just said those. But it's not like there's a rule about how much or how little detail you can jot down. In, in this case, on a, an app called MindNode that I use on the Mac and the uh, iPad as I was running around. But there is a rule, or maybe there should be, that you know your writing has to fit around everything else that you're doing, that you're committed to. Now, in my case, I'm a full-time freelance writer and I have certain recurring jobs. I'm relieved to say certain recurring commissions. And there are also, it's a business, so there are responsibilities to do with the business of writing. So let, let me just get all that stuff down. I am speeding this up because well, it's the idea I want you to see and the app mind know that I do want to recommend. But in reality, it didn't actually take an awful lot longer than it seems to get this bit done. I'm curious how some things that seem maybe obvious to me, like self-destruct. I, I write a blog called Self-Destruct every Friday and I've done so for more than 800 Fridays. And it took me a while to put that on the map. It's like it's very late. I'm thinking maybe it's too obvious. Maybe it's too normal. I don't know. And yeah, OK, some of this is a bit rubbishy vague. Home and property. But time is going to have to be spent on that for some things that come up. I don't know what. And if it's in my head, you get it down on the map. And then OT. Yeah. You saw OT in the dreadful 2023 plan. And in, not entirely because that plan was so bad. Nothing happened with OT at all. I mean, if it had, I'd be telling you what OT stood for. And we can forget that for now. Especially as... 
with immense upset. I don't think I'm going to get anything done about OT in the first quarter of 24. I can't leave it. I can't forget it. So pop it down. Maybe it's a new node. It's a separate node in the map. Keep it up. Except actually, no, OK. There is other work that I will do that I think might help me get to this. So to start paving the way to it. And it happens to be the audio work. So let's move it around to there and actually get rid of this separate node. I would like one visual aid tomorrow writing one map. And I'll tell you now, I also wanted to write a short film in 2024. But I'm looking at all of this, I'm thinking about the specific writing projects there. I mean, I know I'm not showing you what's it but you know, the novel, the audio work, you can, you know, you know, there's more to it than it seems. And actually, there's already more specific things than I put there. But I consequently, I don't think I'm going to get the film done as well. And that's really hard to say, harder to think as well. But just because it doesn't mean it can't fit in the first quarter, it doesn't mean I can't get to it in the second one. It can't get in over the summer, which actually was the original idea. For now, however, for this, concentrate, delete, even though that hurt. And also this hurt too, in another way. Mentoring, I forgot this. I've done mentoring quite a lot. Uh, I really like it, especially last year. I was commissioned by Hosking House Trust to uh, mentor a couple of writers on a really good project this and I love this getting to know a writer getting really to know their work trying to find out what I know or what I've done that could be useful to them it is great and exhausting only you see I put it right there under Patreon right now there are two tiers of Patreon for 58 keys this is far too much detail speed this up there's supposed to be a third that's the thing there's supposed to be a mentoring tier but for months now I've been unable to figure out how to do it I mean Say there is something, something, anything at all that I can tell you. There's still got to be a limit to how much. So it can't be a tier that you could sign up to forever. So do I set some limit of a few months, actually like the mentoring projects I'm doing for other firms? And is it entirely self-selecting? What if you think I know something you need and it turns out that I just don't? So I haven't figured that one out yet. But I did promise to do mentoring. So compromise, leave it on the map and worry about it. That seems pushing it that seems fair but now back to that mind note you've seen how quick it is to just slap down a thought and, and you've seen all of these colors i like that mind node does this other mind mapping tools and there are many they uh, they show everything in the same color and somehow this quite arbitrary assigning of different colors to different parts it just works well for me i like it i mean it's only coloring in yet somehow it feels like it helps me to see things uh, see the differences and the similarities more. Admittedly though, I did think, I so said it was arbitrary, I thought the purple that it gave me when I was doing the writing project to concentrate on, yeah, it seemed a bit dull, so can I change that? Focusing on a section, selecting all with Command A, and then opening that panel, there's the colour option. I don't think that this is the most important feature of my node, but it made me happy finding it and doing it. Whereas, I do think that this next thing is the most important feature because it's the start of how you take a visual map and make it into an actual plan that you will do. In my node, file export to OPML. OPML stands for Out Outline Processor Markup Language. I had to think then, I just looked it up too. It's you know, so many things in technology. Knowing what the initials stand for is no use to anybody. CD-ROM, for example, if you even heard of that one, I could say now, compact disc, read-only memory, nobody is going to go, oh yeah, right, I can see what I could do with that. OPML, whatever, it's a format that you can save a visual mind map into and which you can then open in many other apps, including in this case, Omni Outliner. And look at that. Yeah, the entire visual map reduced to a single ditch water dull line, except... It unfurls. It expands. This is on the outliner, which you, you can use for your outlining your writing. It's only plenty of people do. And I've planned quite a lot of complex articles in it, but it's really for organising anything, any ideas, events, shows, packing lists. Huh? You get the idea. I've done them all in on the outliner, and, and actually it's a beloved tool for me, even though I don't happen to like outlining my writing. Nonetheless, here we are with Omni Outliner, the first quarter of 2024. And actually, this is where really where I have to spend the most time on my plan for the quarter. But it's not like you need to follow me around seeing 
me thinking while I'm making tea, driving around or standing still in aisle nine of the supermarket, certain that I just had a really important idea over by the cucumbers. And what was it again? Probably by cucumbers, I don't know. Let me show you one thing, though, one part of this stage, just as an example. You will get the idea, I know. First, uh, let's just collapse all of this back to the start and concentrate on something and pick one of the things. Let's pick writing to concentrate on. Let's pick that part because that's really why I'm doing all of this. Um, I can move this section to the top. I can move this anywhere, anything, for any reason, just as I think about it. But let's just pick audio work. Only because I already know something I want to do in this section. I want to change this to find BBC submissions documentation online. That does not seem like a big change. I don't think it seems very important that I bother changing it. But where before, you know, when it said just BBC documentation, you had no idea what it meant and you didn't need to. Only I do. It's my thought down there. What do you care? But BBC documentation, it was, all, all it was was enough that it was out of my head and onto the map and now into the Omni Outline of the list. What it isn't is enough to actually do it, to change it from a wish to an actual plan. And find BBC submissions documentation online is. Because that's, now it's not a whole big nebulous idea. It's a precise task. And when you have a precise task, there you go. That is taking this precise task from the outliner and putting it into the third and the last app for today, OmniFocus. Let's do app that I use. I mean, you know, frankly, use is a bit of an understatement. But now I've got this task in there, or you have put yours in OmniFocus, in things three, to Todoist, or the free and actually excellent Apple Reminders, it is now something we can do. All I've done here is taken a single task from a single part of the plan, so none of that matters, and actually I've just dumped it into a demo project. But when I've been through the rest, when I've been turned all the nebulous ideas into many, many specific tasks, I'll paste the lot into OmniFocus and it will step through some things, and then I will do them. As a writer, it's not enough for me to just have an idea. I have to get it done. I have to realise it. And this is how I'm doing it. I suppose it should be clear here. I mean, the kind of things that are nebulous ideas are the novel I'm writing is about time. That's a bit of a nebulous idea. There's no way to change that into a task. Write novel about time. You could look up Amazon to see what other novels are there about time. And yeah, good luck with that. That'll take you quite a while. Have done that. Yeah. That type of thing, it can go on the plan. It can go on the map. It's not as easy to transfer to a specific thing to do. As long as I can find a way to keep those in my mind through the map or through Omni Outliner and all the things that are... Um, actionable that's the phrase as long as i keep doing all the things that are actionable then i'm making the room for these other more nebulous things that have to stay nebulous for us to do the thing that we do clearing the space and the time it's very important to me anyway um so like i say all this is about the ideas and stuff so yeah, although i mean i strongly recommend a mind node omni outline or an omni focus you, you get it the specific app does not matter it's the approach. I'm not, I would have said I'm more text-based than visual-based, but a visual map of everything on your mind dumped out there, turn into a list that you could then massage away, and then finally specific tasks to put in your to-do app. I think saying that to you is like abstracting the apps. It's saying the specific... Oh, I am. I'm saying the specific apps don't matter, and it's only the idea it does, but let's abstract further. The real point here is going from nebulous desires to actually making things happen. And whether you do it in my particular way or in the most wildly different one conceivable, all that matters is that you get it done. But I would love to hear what your way is. Now, I'm conscious, whatever you do it, putting it in the to-do app is not the same as making it actually happen. But these are the tools, these are the processes to get me there. And actually, some of those tasks I put in, they'll never get done. Some of them I'll change, some of them I'll just entirely delete. But where at the start of all this, before we began talking, and I was worried about what I could do in the year, now I can get on with it. And I like getting on with it. Well, I mean, I like it a lot better than getting to the end of the year and finding that I haven't got on with it. Let me tell you that MindNote is a free download with monthly or annual subscriptions. I've had MindNote since way before it became a subscription, so I just paid whatever it was I paid all those years ago. And that does make me a little hesitant, a tiny bit hesitant over recommending it. I mean, 
just because I know, for instance, that an annual subscription would not be worth it for me because I really just used MindNode for this. So that's like once a year. But you could subscribe for a month and then cancel. When you actually, I suppose if I'm doing this course here, oh, I'm going to use it four times a year now. Anyway, the monthly cost is only an entire $3 or £3 here in the UK. I'm the outliner. Use this for everything, several times a day. It comes in a standard or a pro version of what you've just seen me do. Standard is fine. That's $20 for the Mac version that I just used in front of you. But there's also a joint iPhone, iPad version I'll be working on for another $20 and they all talk together. And then OmniFocus, the to-do app, it just came out with a new version and there is an entire 58 keys about it, links below. And actually there's going to be another one. I am planning a full three biscuit guide to everything about OmniFocus 4. Where, by the way, for one price, you get the Mac, the iPhone and the iPad versions, and that starts at $75. If you were setting out today to buy all of this from scratch, do you think it all kind of adds up? And I did buy these apps all over the very many years, but God, the use I get from them, I mean, chiefly Omni Outliner and Omni Focus. Quick story, have you got time? Um, really quick story, I'm, 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 I'm make, make this first. Just years and years ago, right, um, I had this chance to pitch to become a um, blogger in residence for a museum, and I shouldn't be telling you that. You know, it's, it was ages ago. Just for some reason, it was one of those projects where I had a real block on what I could do for them, what I could say to them that I would do for them. I was paralysed by the whole thing, and I, and I just don't know, I was stoned in my stomach. And the night before the presentation, I was flat out panicking. So I opened my note and I wrote the word blog in there. Great, that's a start. Except it did occur to me, I remembered, I was supposed to train people to blog. So there you go, blog, training. Now I've got two things. Blogs. Weekly's nice, fine. Weekly blog, pop it in there. Three things. I managed to claw my way up to 20 things on this little list and move them around a bit. And then the next day I showed uh, the interview board, this mind node map, and they bought it immediately. They commissioned me for the job immediately. I swear to God, it was the colours and how mind node made it look as if I'd really, really thought this through. Please keep this between us, okay? Yeah, I might need to. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to worry about that, but that's it for this edition of 58 Keys for you. For me, I now need to get on with it. I need to work on that plan. And I expect I'll spend at least the next week going through it properly. And I'll keep going through it over the rest of the quarter now. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourself. Eh? Write more. It's important. And I'll see you soon.